Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin Fox here and I'm going to show you how to fix your Streamlabs black screen of death very quickly. Okay, let's go. So, number one thing you want to do is always run your programs that aren't working as an administrator. So, start off with your Streamlabs, uninstall it, get a brand new version, check all your drivers are updated on your graphics card, uh, if you're Intel or AMD, whatever kind of computer you're on, make sure all your drivers are updated. Uh, from there, get your new Streamlabs, download it, make sure it's updated. you got a little shortcut here on your desktop. What I want you to do is click on it with the left click, right click on it, properties. You're going to go to compatibility, change settings for all users, just because someone else logs in, um, even though they're not an administrator or a guest or something, you want this program to work across all platforms, all people. You can try to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 or 7 if you are running Windows 8 or 7. If you're not, don't click it. I'm running Windows 10, so I'm not going to have that clicked. Uh, one of the main settings that you do want to have is where it says down here, run this program as an administrator. Click that, click apply, and then click OK. Uh, if you want to just see if that's going to work right off the hop before you do that and save it. If you want, just right click on your program up here, run as administrator. Uh, if you do that, the program works. Well, you know that's your issue. Go back in like I just showed you and then it saves to all people and you can quit and you're done and fixed. Um, those are a couple fixes. Those are unlikely to fix your black screen uh, and I'm going to show you what is likely to fix your screen. So the number one things you want to do like I said, is your drivers. Uh, for Intel users, your NVIDIA drivers. So simple to do. Google Chrome, Explorer, whatever you're using. NVIDIA. Click on that. Make sure you're going to the NVIDIA site. Don't go to driver update and use one of these third-party um, websites. You're going to get viruses and other damn things. Make sure it says www.nvidia.com. Click on there. The top of the screen is going to say drivers. You got GeForce drivers and all NVIDIA drivers. Make sure you're updated. Um, mine are all updated right now, but I'm just clicking on it. I did the GeForce drivers. Um, here's the GeForce experience. That'll bring up this little thing down here for you. It'll update all your stuff. If you want to do a manual driver search, you can. I've got a 1080. Um, so basically just come in here, click this thing, you can pick your graphics card, whatever you want. Uh, GeForce 10 series, there's 1080 Ti. I wish I had a 1080 Ti, but there's a 1080. Go here, start your search, download your drivers. Um, if that doesn't work, which that's still probably not your issue, uh, then what I want you to do is come here. But once everything's updated, you see this little green thing here for your NVIDIA settings. I want you to click that guy. And open it up okay so this is your NVIDIA control panel now there's gonna be a couple settings here I'm on desktop so I don't have it but if laptop users listen to me right here this is a major fix if you're using a laptop okay when you click on program settings come on load up and you scroll down you're going to see a box down here that says integrated graphics. I want you to click that. Make sure integrated graphics is being used. You do not want to use your graphics card for Streamlabs because if you're trying to record any kind of stream such as uh, Apex Legends, Fortnite, anything that's using your graphics card, you don't want to use your capture device using that graphics card as well. Okay, It's just not going to work well for you. So definitely click integrated graphics. The other thing is, this is another major one. This is for laptop users. This is for um, everybody. This is the number one fix of the black screen for Streamlabs, where it says select a program to customize, and you want to add it to all your settings. You want to find obs64.exe. Okay, so here you'll scroll down. If you find it, perfect. A lot of people get confused here because it'll say OBS64, but it doesn't say .exe. So people are like, oh, I have OBS64 in there already. That's not the one. You need it to say .exe in the name, okay? So if yours says Streamlabs like this and just says OBS, 
it's not the right one. See how I've got brackets here? That's Streamlabs OBS.exe. I type that so I know it's the right one. Okay, so you definitely want it. If you got a black screen, yours is probably not here and you probably don't have the right one. So what I want you to do, I'm going to click on add, scroll down, see here's my OBS64.exe, that's the one you want. It has to say OBS.exe, OBS64.exe, it has to have the exe. I'm spending a lot of time on this because this is the number one fix for the black screen. So uh, I can show you here, if you look here, uh, where, which way would it be here here I don't even know where but right here if I hover over it this is where mine's located C drive program files streamlabs OBS resources Appasar unpacked node modules OBS studio node OBS 64.exe so if yours is not here look there's mine there you want to add it if yours is not here click on browse and you got to go back through and find that program so like, let's see if I can remember this, uh, I'm going to C drive, program files, da, 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 Streamlabs OBS, resources, Appasar unpacked, node modules, OBS studio node, uh, which one was it after here? Oh, it's right here, OBS 64. So I would right click on that and open it. So that, that would add it, okay? Once that's added, right here, like that add selected program and it's in here that's when you'd click integrated um, graphics okay like I said I'm on my desktop so I don't have that option You're using a laptop that'll fix it okay here's global settings all kinds of fun stuff other than that in here you don't need to worry about anything else but uh, let's go over to Streamlabs and I'll show you a couple fixes in there. So I'm going to close this off. I'm going to close this right down. So my Streamlabs right now obviously is what I'm using to record my screen. As you can see it brings up this. I've got my webcam. I've got game capture uh, names here. Um, you can rename these. You don't have, mine says Agario. I was playing Agario. Um, but you don't have to have these names. But these are the ones I do. But as you can see, I've got my webcam here, it's at the top. So that means it's this is a priority sequence, okay? So if you have layers on your videos, the top one is gonna always be on the top. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Let's say at the top here, I had a picture of just black. All this stuff you would not see, the blackness would be over top of all of it. Like my webcam here, if I take it and drop it below my screen captures, watch what happens. I disappear. You can't see me. Okay, so if my screen was black, you wouldn't even see my webcam. So I'm going to grab that, I'm going to bring it back up, and I appear again. Okay, so you definitely want to have your proper order in here. If you don't have your game capture or your screen, what I want you to do is start with uh, just your, um, don't do a window capture, start, just do a display capture. So what we'll do is we'll add a new source. See where it says game capture? Don't do that, that's finicky. Just to get yours up and running the first time, just so you know it works, do um, a display capture. Just capture the whole screen, make sure it works. After that, you know your Streamlabs working due to drivers or integrated graphics and all those other options. Then you can start playing around with these display captures or window captures. Um, so it's very simple. Once you've got this, you click on display capture, it's going to say primary monitor, secondary monitor, add source. Uh, you can name it whatever you want and just slide it up. Make it top priority so that you know you're going to see it. Okay. Um, we'll touch base on window capture and game capture later. Right now we're just trying to get your Streamlabs black screen away and for you to be able to see something. So we'll close that out. The other thing here, this is another major fix. Okay. We're going to go down to settings. Uh, da, 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 stream output okay so I've got mine a little higher right now this will depend on how fast your internet is how many bits you can do um, but if you want to copy some of my settings you can for your encoder software do x264 output mode is advanced 
your bit rate, lower it down to like 1500 or 2500. I've got mine at 4500, which may cause some lag, but I would definitely lower yours down to like 1500. Uh, okay. Uh, CPU usage, the higher this is, um, the less CPU you're using. So I keep mine at fast or really fast around those options. Um, and I click on here to enforce streaming service encoder settings. That's a good one as well. And rate control, CBR. You have a few options in here. Well, I'm going to let me click on it because I'm using it right now, but those are some good ones. Here's another major fix. Come to advanced here. Process priority high, yada yada yada. Force GPU as render device. Okay, so same as we're doing the integrated graphics, we want to do it from Streamlabs as well. We do not want the GPU rendering our video at the same time as we're rendering video games and other things. Okay, so make sure this is clicked off. Okay, once that's clicked off, just click done, save it, you're good. Okay guys, I'm going to show you one last thing. Um, if you do have the new Streamlabs, this won't be an issue for you. So hopefully you've updated to the newest one. But if you do have an older Streamlabs, um, there's kind of like a glitch in there with L SLI and um, um, it's Force. Uh, what is it? Let me see what it says here. If I click on this thing in settings. Force scaling. That's what it is. So you see how I can see the picture in the background here? Um, that means that's what it's recording. See how I click these and it's black for a second. If I click it, it goes black and pops in. If you have an older Streamlabs, these sometimes, if you have those, it stays black. It doesn't come up. So you have to go back and forth, click these, back and forth like this if you have an older Streamlabs. And then hopefully it'll start working. The black will just go ping and appear like that. Streamlabs, since they've updated, has fixed this issue. So that's no longer um, a problem. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely try that if you have an older one, but if you've updated the, your Streamlabs like I've told you to, this should not be a problem. Okay guys? Um, so right now I've got capture specific window. I go capture specific window. You can pick whatever windows you have open. I've opened here. This is my Apex Legends. So I click Apex Legends. I saw like crossfire capture mode slow and take that off for scaling on or off. Doesn't really matter. Let's say I do done. I don't see it. I'm going to bring that above my display capture and it shows up. So there's my Apex Legends game. And you can bring this to whatever size you want. Um, so I would bring that up to there. And now if I played this game, um, you would be able to see it and it would record. All right, but we're doing display capture, so I'll move it down and behind. All right, guys, so that's a uh, game capture for you. As you can see guys, this is how you can fix it. Um, there's a bunch of fixes there for you. Hopefully that gets your screen up and running so you guys can start uh, streaming on Twitch or Facebook or uploading to YouTube. Get your content out there guys and thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, also if you have any questions, if you're one of the 5 to 10% that this doesn't work, leave a comment. Uh, let me know the things you did try. Let me know the things that did work for you. If it didn't work for you, uh, I'll message you and try to walk you through things. This um, help and fix is primarily made for Intel users, so AMD, I'm sorry. I don't have AMD, but uh, some of those fixes should work for you, the ones that aren't specific to Intel. Um, but to go any further than that, I don't have any AMD, and I'm sorry. But for Intel users, this should work to fix your screen for 95% of you. All right, thanks very much, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.